Pinax here and today we are on Terraria happy on all the felt we used to record some videos so yeah this is going to be a guide on how to defeat the old one's army the old, the old one's army is a is a event in Terraria Terraria that it's got it's a bit like an advanced version of the Goblin Army I guess. So yeah. Well we'll just I'll tell you what it is at first. So the old one's army is I'd say it's an advanced version of the Goblin Army. Where you've got this like Eternia crystal, you got to protect it from all these enemies. So we'll get straight into it. Let's just wait, wait, wait. Yeah, right. Let's just load it. So. Well, right, I'm going to skip to my world. But I'm do I'm, I'm going to skip to, to when I load up my world. So. Skip! So, yeah. So, this is my world. And. What? So just to like, just to start off, I'm going wrong way. this is by world. So when, when, if you go to the desert, you might find this guy. This is the tavern. So when you when you tap on him, it'll, it'll show you this. What? And we have three buttons. Will be a shop. There's a shop. And the claws with and the Eternia crystal. So th this the tavern keep sells the Eternia crystal for twenty-five silver and the Eternia crystal stand for one gold. So I've I've already set that up. So when you, when you first talk to him, he'll give you five defender medals. These, and you could spend that you can on one of these four weapons which you'll need. I recommend going for the blister rod or the flame burst rod. Uh, you'll be able to get better versions of these as you pro progress. So once you've bought all you need, get some mail if you want. You want to go, well, you, you want to find or make an open area. Oh. You, you want to get, get to an open area. Like this, here. This is what I've made. And put the Eternia, Chris, the Eternia Crystal stand right here. And you see, you see, you just make a like flat area, and yeah, and and then you're good. They'll let you like place it down. So first, I'm going to put some stuff away because my inventory is full, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, the reason why it's full is a goblin army just invaded the first time. So yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm back, I've just put some stuff in chests. So, you, stuff that I would, I would get to the Goblin, no, no, the All One's Army. I would, would get at least Jungle Armor. Because Jungle Armor is, well, Jungle Armor is pro probably the best you can get at this time of year. And, so you definitely need Herm's boots, because then you can like dodge Herm's boots and, and climb a bottle, or, or anything like that. You'll really need a 
feral claws are good if you need like melee stuff you might want to get um violent and menacing on your things because then that'll give you like loads of damage so if you're going for a magic set you'll want the warding nit the warding nature's gift you need warding for defense and if you're going for a yo-yo set you like i'm not you might need a, a counterweight or a string or some of the for yo-yos or if you're not just put it in with like a cobalt shield or something like that and get some speed on that so of weapons then i recommend the water bolt the mini shark the space gun and these four weapons here it just the enchanted enchanted swords only really necessary in, well it's not really necessary so once you've placed it down you've got your flat area you can put torches on it i'm gonna make a campfire you'll want a campfire for healing to like regen your health I'd have at least 200 health to actually do it. So yeah, I've at least 200 health, or else you'll die. So I'd also have a full stack of mana. You know what? This, all of these monsters spawn in here. This may be a good time to show off new weapons. So I'd. The enchanted sword is a really rare weapon. If you can't get this, I'd, you could get like a light spin, blood butcher, all like that. And I'll show you the water bolt. The water bolt is key for this. Yeah, the water bolt bounces off stuff. It's a really good weapon if you're going for the magic set. And um. Also, um, a good magic set weapon is a space gun. So yeah, space gun, really good for this. Also, the mini shark. Yeah, that's really good for taking out flying things. And also, if you can, any any of these four rods. You've got the lightning aura rod. Oh, fine. Anyway. Apparently three enemies nearby. Yeah, three. Lightning Aura Rod summons this. That. Summons that. There's the Flame Burst Rod. Which, oh, yeah. I forgot how cool this thing is. It shoots like a bike. Summons this. The, yeah. There's the, hang on. Let me find an enemy. It's the, where, where, come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh, no. Any enemies? Whoa. What are you shooting? Ah, yes. The ballista rod. Hang on. Let me just find something. You didn't really see ballista rod in action. Yeah, the ballista rod is... The ballista rod are the flame burst rod. Rod, definitely the first you should get. What? Okay. Yeah. This is the ballista rod. It shoots a spear. I guess you could call it an arrow. Okay, if you won't get a summoner set, that'll also, that'll also be really helpful. The, um, finally, the explosive trap. The explosive trap. Oh, it's not really the best. But it's definitely good. Hey, hey up! Why are you shooting? Explosive trap is good for all, if there's like a big. If there's like a lot of, a, of them. I don't think I'll be able to test it on this flying fish. If someone's that, if if anything gets near it, it blows up. See? So enough of that. Right. So, I don't know if this, this works, but I've, I haven't tried, like, putting one down before, before the event starts. So, once it starts, you click on it. Once you've got an Eternia Crystal in your inventory. Oh, what are you shooting? Now, wait for the ballista thing to go up. 
see. Um, yes. So, once you've put it in, the, these two portals will be at the start. And if you want to just... If these goblins get to your um, diamond, they'll start attacking it. And if your diamond dies, you fail. And when you start, you get 10 Ethereum mana. Yeah, 10 Ethereum mana. So, you need 10 Ethereum mana to summon these in the event. So, if you want to start off, I'd start with putting a, a flame burst rock thing at each side. And then just water bolt and everything else. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really the best, but it's good for taking out big bros. Oh yeah, admire the music. Yeah, enough music. So once once you've completed a wave, it'll show like a, it'll show like the, the timer up there. You just wanna, this this is a good time to collect stuff. And then place your traps down. Well, yeah. So if you want to be ex extra extra deadly with your damage, you put a lightning or a thing at each, at each portal. You can place them anywhere. They're, they're, they're like monsters, these things. We're both going to they are they're like mo mobs, enters. So, that while these are firing away, you could go and get the get the loot, but it's not advised. As it's yeah, you, they might they might just start nibbling away. At it. Okay, this is a good time to collect loot. There'll still be like a few enemies left over. You can just smack them with an enchanted sword. Summit. So, once you've got all that, you, you could just go straight and put ballistas right next to the flame burst, but I'd start with putting the lightning auras there. Right, then put ballistas next to the flame burst. Oh yeah, you'll only be able to use these weapons outside of the, these like rods on until you've defeated this army. So like, if I haven't defeated this, I won't be able to use this outside of battle. Oh yeah, this these weapons that you get can also be used against the goblin army. I mean, they are pre they're pretty fast though, so I wouldn't advise it. The goblins are pretty fast and they're quick. So, and you won't get a three of mana, so you won't be able to do it. Admire the music. Ready. So now, once you once you just killing up all those stragglers, it will just limp by a bit. Collect your loot, and then now that you've got all of this, what you want to do now is put a I'd put a ballista here. I'd put a lightning aura on top of the Eternia crystal because wave 4 is when the, the flying things come in. And then just get an, ex an extra flavor squad for DPS. So when these Ethereum Wyverns the, you want to use the mini shark because the water bolt will be really slow and dodgy. And then just. Yeah, just leave the. Um, the ground enemies to the to the traps. Or if there's no wyverns, just like you know, put put them um, put just attack them with your mini shark. Oh yeah, I haven't got the best reforgement on my mini shark, so don't don't end up getting slow on your mini shark. Slow is bad. Especially for a mini shark. So all you just 
finishing off those little stragglers. We're just getting in your way. So, by now you might have 30 Ethereum mana. So just put, just like, put this pattern. I wouldn't really advise putting the explosive trap things down. It's just a waste, I'd say. Okay, now's when you want to use the space gun. As the space gun's really helpful. And now, here comes the boss, the Dark Maze. The Dark Maze will summon skeletons that, that are also enemies. Oh yeah, the space gun, good to take out wyverns as well. You can't get, you can't take out the, um, if you can't get a mini shot, I'd use a space gun. You can't get any of them this week. Oh, right. So the Dark Mage has an explosion attack. She shoots these white balls at you. I can't really tell. So here's when you want to start using your cloud in the bottle. And, right, this, and also the water ball. She can't really move fast. Oh, yeah. Don't die! Don't die like I do. And, and there we go. It's done. So once the Dark Mage has been defeated, the Old One's army is done. You see, the Old One's army has been defeated. So now, loot. So the old, the Dark Mage can drop a can drop a hell of other stuff. I don't think she will drop it. Yeah, I just mined out all my banners. You know, the ones for the old ones army don't really work. So yeah, I just put them there because some of them like give off a boost. So for the loot then, well, all the Ethereum mana that you've got in your inventory will disappear so you can't keep it for your sign. I was going to but I can't. So she will drop four war table banners. She met four war table banners. These are just like decorators out decorators out there. So they'll look like this. She will also she or he will also drop the well no this isn't all the time. Might drop the trophy which is this book here. I'll I'll put a picture of the next stuff up. She'll all, she'll all, well, the, on the last thing, she'll also drop a, a dark mage mask, that could just tell your friend that you've got that, that lunar armor, but you actually haven't, so, might even think of doing a Terraria playthrough, huh, yeah, I should, I'm thinking inside that. Don't get me wrong, I am I am gonna start that. She might also drop um I can't remember what you call it, it's something like a war table. That's also for decorators out there. So you do Seth Bling. Wait, Seth Bling's Minecraft. There. So you decorators out there. Get your stuff ready. Get your get your spiky balls, get get your armor. You've got to do it to fight it. If you wanna actually get some stuff. So I th think that's about it. Some extra tips. Extra tips. Not really many extra tips. Just as, as long as you dodge the javelins and the bombs the, and the dark mage's attacks, you should be good. Oh yeah, the explosion explosion will do a lot of damage. So that was the old one's army. I really, I really hope you enjoyed it. If it helped you, if it helped you do it, like the video. Some some more weapons that you might want to use. The aqua scepter might also be good against the wyverns and the dark mage. But 
the blue moon might be good against like all the big armies put them together and then let the thingy do it the flame burst the yo-yo is a really advised but the yo-yos and yeah that's about it i'd say you should be able to take down the old one's army now so thanks so 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 much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and peace